Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Diana Loves Colors. And I was just sitting here making an ornament uh, for my tree. And I figured I'd just show you how I did it because it was so easy. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. So you just need some of these uh, like ornaments from the Dollar Tree or wherever you get the empty plastic ornaments. And then you can put anything you want in here. Um, I have these little snowmen. Uh, you just need your glue gun. And you'll need some Modge Podge. And then uh, some kind of uh, glitter. Any color you want. I'm going to be using this uh, super chunky iris white that I got on Amazon. Um, and I think I got these. From Timo, yes, I did. From Timo, um, so I have these little trees here. I got these at Hobby Lobby, but uh, everybody's been hauling the ones from uh, the Dollar Tree that you can use. I'm just not using these because uh, they're a little too tall for this particular ornament that I have here. So the first thing you're going to do is use your glue gun and glue a tree in there or whatever you want to glue in there. Uh, I'm going to do the tree. So, is this plugged in? I'm using the one with the cord today. So, um, here we go. So I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom here. I'm almost out of glue. All right. And I'm going to line that up with the bottom of this half and just hold it here for a second and hope that I had enough glue on it. Yep, I think it could have used a little more. One second. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, that's better. It's a little too much. So I'm going to push it back far enough so that I can still close these together. And we're just going to let that dry for a second. And I got these little deer... Um, at Hobby Lobby um, that might just fit in here it might be a little bit too big and I was thinking of putting a little snowman by the tree here let's see how that will work out these are just flat back resin uh, charms here I would have to glue him to the tree We can try it. It might be a better one. All right, let me figure this out. Okay, I got him in there. So now I'm going to take uh, my paintbrush here, just a foam brush, and I'm going to just brush on a little bit of this Mod Podge in the back of the here, which I should have done first. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm so dumb, I swear. <laughs> Well, it's only the second one I ever made. What can I say? I just have to get in there very carefully. Glitter is going to go everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. So the reason why I'm not painting both sides, because I thought of doing that. Of, of course, if you paint both sides of this with the Mod Podge, you are not going to be able to see anything in there. So the other half, you just leave clear. Now I'm going to put a little bit on him and the tree also. So I'm just going to run the brush over the tree like that. Okay, I think we're all nicely coated in there pretty much. So... 
you want to do this glitter business over a paper plate or something. And I think you can um, cut that Marge Podge with a little bit of water. Hmm, look at that. All right, this is the fun part. So just dump a little in there and just start shaking it around. So it gets on all the sides and everything, and you can always add more. And this holographic glitter is just so reflective. Look at it, shook all the way over there. And you can put your extras back in your in your container after. So that is pretty well coated. I'm going to put the other half on. Just make sure there's nothing preventing the halves from going together. And there it is. So now what we can do is put a ribbon on here. Or a string or a hook or whatever you have. So I have this silver ribbon here that I got from uh, Dollar General. And of course, this is going to be two. Oh. There. That's too big to go through that hole. So I found if you. Where are my scissors? <clears throat> if you cut it like that, you can usually get it through the hole. Oh, it didn't even cut. Time for new scissors, right? So just make a little point. And you can usually pull it through. Okay, I didn't do that very good. Let's try that again. Live action, huh? I should have just gone and got a hook. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, this is usually much easier than it looks, that I'm making it look. I'm trying to do it through the camera, so it's kind of hard. As you know, you all know. I don't even know why I'm showing you this. I'm sure you've all made a million of these ornaments. And, um, it's not like I just discovered something new here. All right, I give up. Uh, finally, I got it through. <laughs> It's much easier when you don't think anyone's watching you. So just tie a little um, tie at the top. And you will be in business. I'm not used to anybody watching what I'm doing. Thank goodness. There we go. And now... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now we have an ornament that just will not stay together okay well this one is going in the reject pile I think 
or I'm going to glue this together. And there is the ornament. Ta-da! <laughs> Glitter is everywhere. All right, guys. Have a good day. And <laughs> next time I'll show you something new that you've probably seen a hundred times. Bye.